Ever since Hyper popularized the usage of USB-C hubs back in 2015, little has changed over the last five years. Virtually all USB-C hubs in the market today are first-generation hubs with typical connections like 4K 30Hz HDMI, UHS-1 micro SD SD, 5 gigabits per second USB-A, and 60 watts USB-C power delivery. Introducing the next generation of Hyperdrive USB-C hubs with double the speed and power of current hubs. We call this Hyperdrive Gen 2, which features UHS 2 micro SD SD, 10 gigabit per second USB-A, 4K 60 Hertz HDMI, with USB power delivery supporting up to 100 watts. With Gen 2, you get two times the video refresh speed on a 4K display, two times transfer speed over USB, three times transfer speed for your memory cards, and two times the power to charge your computer. Hyperdrive Gen 2 also works perfectly with mobile devices like the iPad Pro, with a long cable to allow the hub to lie flat instead of dangling in midair. With our 6-in-1 Hyperdrive Gen 2 hub, you get the following ports. Need more ports? Try our 12-in-1 Hyperdrive Gen 2 hub, which supports multiple external video displays. There's also a Hyperdrive Gen 2 hub with 18 ports that supports digital and optical audio. There is a Hyperdrive Gen 2 hub for every device and every task, from tablets to laptops to desktops, from accessing files over any connections to advanced video and audio editing. Be seamless. A portal into your world. Take it to the next level. We adapt to you. Universal compatibility. Finish what you set out to do. The TBT3 UDZ docking station. Connect with your potential. Brought to you by Pluggable. Here's what you need to know about your WD-19 dock. The WD-19 is available with three connectivity options. USB-C on the WD-19, dual USB-C on the WD-19-DC, and Thunderbolt 3 on the WD-19-TB. All three models can be used with a single USB-C port, but using the WD-19-DC or TB in this way will reduce their ability to supply power to your system and drive multiple monitors at high resolutions. Before installing your dock, make sure your system is up to date, as an outdated BIOS or driver may prevent your dock from functioning. You can update your system using the Dell Update, Dell Command Update, or Support Assist tools, which may be pre-installed on your PC, 
or by visiting dell.com slash support. Next, download the latest updates for your dock from dell.com slash support. You'll need the current firmware, as well as USB audio and Ethernet drivers. Install the drivers now, before connecting your dock. Connect your dock's power adapter. The WD-19 is available with either a 130W adapter, which allows the dock to provide 90W to your system, or a 180W adapter, allowing charging at 130W. The WD-19DC provides 130W when connected with a single USB-C cable, and in supported Dell systems only, 210 watts when connected with both. Supported Dell systems also let the dock power button mirror the appearance and functionality of the system power button. For a list of supported systems, check the latest version of your dock's user guide, available at dell.com slash support slash manuals. The WD19TB supplies 130 watts. Connect your dock to your system. On the WD19DC, both cable LEDs will light when supplying 210 watts, and only one when supplying 130 watts. Run the firmware update. When complete, your dock is ready to use. When connecting monitors to your dock, the maximum number of monitors and resolutions supported varies by model. Check your user guide for details. Your dock's rear USB-C multifunction display port and HDMI port share hardware. If you have a monitor connected via HDMI, the USB-C port will only provide data transfer and charging, not video. If you connect a monitor to the USB-C port, the HDMI port is disabled. Please also note that the rear Thunderbolt port on the WD19TV operates at USB 2.0 speeds when used with non-Thunderbolt devices. Hi, I'm Bernie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies, and we're really excited today to be launching our UDCAM docking station. It's the most compact, most powerful USB-C docking station to hit the market to date, and I wanted to show what it looks like to put it to use. So we've got a Microsoft Surface Book 2 laptop here. It's got some USB-A ports, and it's got one USB-C port. You'll notice though that it doesn't have a network port, and I'd love to connect it to this monitor right here, but there's no graphics ports on it either. So how do we really take this laptop and turn it into a full function desktop? Well, this one docking station is really everything that you need to do that, and it will charge the laptop all over a single USB-C cable. So let's see what that looks like. So I've got the dock here. And by the way, this dock uh, comes with a what's called a visa mount. It's that little bracket that you see on the back of some monitors. So we can actually take this and mount it and hide it on the back of the monitor. I'm actually going to do everything right out here on the desktop so you can see it all getting connected. So the first thing we do is we plug in power to the dock and that's going to be the only power that's required. The dock itself is going to then power the laptop through USB power delivery. And then we're going to connect together the actual dock and the laptop. So this is a USB-C cable connecting to the Surface Book 2. And at this point the Surface Book 2 is seeing the dock, uh, but the dock doesn't yet have anything connected to it. The first thing I'd love to do is uh, get use of this big monitor here. So I'm going to just plug in the HDMI cable, and that's what the dock supports. The dock supports 4K HDMI, and up on the screen we will we'll pop the Windows desktop. And I can take a window over to it, and there we go, and move it between my two screens. And uh, you know, one of the reasons why that window is blank is because I don't have network access so let me go grab a network cable and plug that into the dock so now I'm getting kind of higher speed wired network performance through the docking station and I would go over there and, and kind of mess with the window but I, I kind of I hate using the trackpad on these laptops so let me also connect in a mouse okay great so now I've got a mouse hey this is actually feeling like you know, a setup that I would be, you know, happy using here. Okay, so we've got the mouse connected, so it's a little bit easier now to work with things, and we've got the network connected. 
So, yeah, the network's connected and we're able to bring up uh, the Pluggable website on our browser. So, we also have an audio port on the front of the docking station. If you're in an office environment or something and you uh, want to kind of keep it quiet or if you want to put on speakers and make it loud, either way, you can use the audio 3.5 millimeter audio connection there on the front. And so we've got all of this stuff connected and we've still got three more free USB ports. And this Surface Book is really beginning to feel like a desktop setup with extra monitor, mouse. I could really use this as my day-to-day -day workstation. And then it's only a single cable connected to the Surface Book. And then the kicker is that the Surface Book is actually also getting charged and getting all of its power right from the docking station. The docking station supports 85 watts of power delivery, so even some of the higher power laptops that aren't supported by all docking stations are supported by this one. A good example of that is the higher-end MacBook Pros that require 85 watts, so we support that. So I've got a full desktop setup, and when my day is done, I can just unplug and go. So if you have any questions at all about the dock or about the functionality, uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. And I'm going to go do some work. Is your laptop running low on port connectivity? It's time to expand your port selection while charging your laptop at the same time. The CalDigit TS30 Plus utilizes the performance of your laptop's Thunderbolt 3 port in order to supply up to 15 ports of connectivity. A single Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port can do it all. Video. Audio. Data. Power delivery. Four protocols are delivered through a single cable for ease and convenience. CalDigit's TS3 Plus has 15 ports in total. It delivers 85 watts to your laptop for charging, and it can light up two 4K monitors. CalDigit's TS3 Plus features a UHS-2 SD card reader, allowing photographers to transfer their photos three times faster than previous generations of SD card readers. Photos, video clips, and media simply read and write faster. Display is delivered through the DisplayPort 1.2 and the downstream Thunderbolt 3 port. Light up two 4K monitors at 60Hz or a single 5K display. The TS3 Plus offers two different audio options. The front panel has an analog audio in and out for your headphones and microphone. While the digital optical audio in the back works with audio video receivers, DAT recorders, and other high-end audio equipment. In addition to these features, the TS3 Plus can deliver 85 watts to charge your laptop. Simply connect a single Thunderbolt 3 cable from the TS3 Plus to your laptop and it will charge it. Enhance your workflow with extra ports, the ability to light up two 4K displays, and still charge your laptop. CalDigit TS3 Plus.